course, we have team coverage of everything that is happening this weekend at Something in the Water. We're going to kick things off with my colleague, Julie Malay. Julie, I know it's been tough to stay dry, but I know you've also talked with some fans here as well. Yeah, that's right, Lena. And now that the rain has let up a little bit, we're starting to see a lot more people walking up and down Atlantic Avenue here. You can see over my shoulder a lot more buses running and dropping people off. It is a stark contrast to what we saw earlier today when that rain was coming down right around noon when the concert gates were supposed to open. There was hardly anyone around. We did talk to a lot of people, though, including a couple who came here to celebrate their recent engagement. Isn't that romantic? And we also met a Norfolk native who no longer lives here but comes back to visit because he really loves what something in the water is doing for his hometown community. Let me if be the first to say the me. rain delay isn't going to hold us back. Once they let us in, there ain't no stopping us all weekend. 100%, 0 to 100 real quick. Lil Uzi, Lil, Lil Wayne, all the Lils are going to be here. Despite the inclement weather, you know, nothing can stop this movement, this vibe, you know, of community, of love, of fellowship, and just being together. It's a great thing for the city of Virginia Beach. And we did see the line start to form that down uh, <laughs> down near the gates over here where my colleague Haley Mylon was out there talking to some of the first people in line uh, ready for this concert. So let's go now to her to hear what she has to say. Hey, Haley. Hey, Julie, over here at 8th and Atlantic, the line is just growing so insanely quickly. We've been here pretty much all day talking to folks to see the line wrapped around the block now pretty much uh, is a sight to see because it was rainy throughout the morning. We were unsure about where things were going to go today. The sun came out and the vibes started. Uh, they started improving in this line. Now, people in line came from near and far. I met a group of festival goers who were uh, first in line. They were at the very front waiting in this line, though, they say is nothing compared to the effort it took for this group to get here to Virginia Beach from Richmond. They say they're so excited about the concert lineup, but they have one wish. We took the train. There was problems with the train. <laughs> we took the bus. <laughs> we took the bus. We walked with our bags 30 minutes. We're just hoping Drake pops up and there's some surprise artists. Okay, those festival goers actually DM Drake. So if Drake makes an appearance, you have them to thank, perhaps. Now, uh, Lena has more on what's going to happen throughout the evening as we get more information about what's happening tonight. But just about an hour, Lena, it looks like things will get started. I know it is exciting, Haley. I have heard some rumors that Drake might be in town. I don't know. I haven't